In the land of Cloister, there lived a boy named Jack who worked on a farm. He was captivated by the tale of Eric, a legendary king of old who once saved the kingdom from a horde of colossal giants from the heavens. It was said that Eric wielded a mystical crown that granted him control over these towering invaders. Meanwhile, Princess Isabel, residing in the royal palace, found herself equally intrigued by the ancient legend of Eric. Though separated by their stations in life, both Jack and Isabel shared a common fascination with the heroic deeds of this fabled king. Ten years later, Jack embarks on a journey to the town square with the intention of selling his horse to aid his uncle's struggling farm. Amidst the bustling marketplace, Jack's attention is immediately drawn to Isabel, the princess of the realm, and he finds himself smitten by her presence. His admiration for her only deepens when he courageously intervenes to defend her honor from a gang of ruffians. Meanwhile, the return of Lord Roderick to his estate is met with an unpleasant surprise as he discovers that a cunning monk has pilfered valuables from his study. In an unexpected turn of events, the monk approaches Jack, offering him a curious exchange, magical beans he had snatched from Lord Roderick's collection in exchange for Jack's trusty steed. Back within the confines of the royal castle, tensions simmer between Princess Isabel and her father, King Bromwell. Isabel yearns for adventure and exploration beyond the castle walls, while her father insists on her remaining within the safety of the palace and entertaining the notion of a marriage alliance with the ambitious Lord Roderick. Similarly, Jack's return home is met with disapproval from his uncle, who chastises him for what he perceives as foolishness in bartering their horse for the monk's questionable offering. Frustrated and despondent, Jack's uncle casts the beans to the ground in a fit of anger before storming out of the house, leaving Jack to ponder the strange turn his day has taken. Driven by an unwavering desire for independence, Isabel boldly slips away from the confines of the castle, yearning to taste the freedom she so desperately craves. Seeking refuge from the pouring rain, she finds herself at Jack's humble abode, hoping to escape the watchful eyes of her royal duties for just a moment. As the rain continues to pelt down relentlessly, one of the mysterious beans stolen by Jack from the monk takes an unexpected turn. With a burst of inexplicable magic, the bean sprouts and grows rapidly, entwining itself into a colossal beanstalk that stretches high into the heavens. In a whirlwind of astonishment and disbelief, Isabel finds herself swept away along with Jack's dwelling ascending into the sky atop the towering beanstalk. While Jack, left behind, can only watch in bewilderment as his world is upturned before his very eyes. Jack, along with Roderick and Roderick's loyal companion Wick, step forward eagerly to join forces with the king's valiant knights in a daring quest. Led by the seasoned warrior Elmont and his trusted lieutenant Craw, their mission is to ascend the towering beanstalk in pursuit of Isabel, who has been whisked away to an unknown fate. As they begin their arduous climb, the true colors of Roderick and Wick begin to emerge. Seizing upon an opportunity to further their own agenda, they callously sever the safety rope, sending some of the knights plummeting to their demise below. Their treacherous act reveals their sinister motives and sets a tone of mistrust among the group. Upon reaching the summit of the colossal beanstalk, they are met with a breathtaking sight. The realm of the giant sprawls before them, shrouded in mystery and danger. In a tense decision, the group opts to split into two factions, one led by Jack, Elmont, and Craw, and the other spearheaded by Roderick and his cunning ally Wick. However, before the division is finalized, Roderick resorts to coercion, forcefully seizing the remaining beans from Jack's possession. Despite Roderick's dominance, Jack manages to cunningly salvage one precious bean for himself, holding onto it as a glimmer of hope amidst the growing turmoil and betrayal. Jack and his companions find themselves ensnared by a colossal giant, who swiftly captures everyone in their group except for Jack, who manages to evade capture by the skin of his teeth. As Jack navigates his escape, Roderick and his fellow travelers stumble upon a harrowing encounter with two additional giants. Tragically, one of these giants devours Wick, leaving the group reeling from the loss. Yet, just as the other giant looms menacingly over Roderick, he acts with remarkable speed and determination, seizing hold of a legendary crown imbued with mystical powers. With the crown adorning his head, Roderick's fate shifts dramatically, empowering him to confront the looming threat and turn the tide of their perilous situation. Jack tracks the giant to their stronghold, a fortress ruled by the fearsome two-headed giant leader, Fallon, who has mercilessly slain Craw, one of Jack's allies. Inside, Jack discovers the captive Isabel and Elmont, imprisoned and facing imminent danger. As the giants make preparations to execute their remaining captives, Roderick unexpectedly enters the scene, wielding the enchanted crown that grants him control over the formidable creatures. With a commanding presence, Roderick asserts his dominance over the giants, coercing them into submission and compelling them to obey his orders. In a chilling turn of events, he reveals his sinister plan to launch an assault on Cloister, the kingdom's sanctuary, come dawn, using the giants as his instruments of destruction. 
Shockingly, Roderick callously permits the Giants to devour Isabel and Elmont, further demonstrating his ruthless ambition. Amidst the chaos and impending doom, Jack springs into action, swiftly rescuing Isabel and Elmont from the clutches of their monstrous captors. In a perilous moment, one of the Giants prepares to cook Elmont like a pig in a blanket, highlighting the dire peril they face. Fleeing for their lives, the trio races towards the towering beanstalk, their only means of escape from the Giants' domain. With cunning and bravery, Jack engineers a daring maneuver, causing the giant guarding the beanstalk to plummet into the abyss below, thwarting their pursuit. Witnessing the aftermath and recognizing the grave threat posed by the giants, Bromwell, the kingdom's ruler, orders the immediate destruction of the beanstalk, fearing an imminent invasion that could spell doom for their realm. Thus, the decision is made to sever the connection between their world and the realm of the giants, a desperate measure to safeguard their homeland from impending destruction. As Jack and Isabel descend the beanstalk, leaving Elmont behind to face Roderick alone, a tense confrontation unfolds. In a dramatic turn of events, Elmont triumphs over Roderick, vanquishing the treacherous villain. However, their victory is short-lived as Fallon, the cunning two-headed giant leader, seizes the enchanted crown before Elmont can claim it for himself. With his prize in hand, Fallon forces Elmont to make a hasty retreat down the beanstalk. Meanwhile, Jack, Isabel, and Elmont plummet to safety as the beanstalk is swiftly cut down, severing the connection between the giant's realm and earth. Miraculously, they all survive the perilous fall, albeit shaken and bruised from their harrowing ordeal. As they make their way back home, a somber realization dawns upon them. Jack sounds the alarm, warning of the giant's nefarious plot to exploit Roderick's magical beans, using them to sprout new beanstalks and descend upon Cloyster in a devastating onslaught. As Jack, Isabel and Bromwell flee for their lives from the relentless pursuit of the giants, they seek refuge within the safety of the castle walls. In a desperate attempt to thwart their monstrous adversaries, Elmont devises a cunning strategy, filling the castle's moat with oil and igniting it, creating a fiery barrier to deter the giants' advance. However, the cunning Fallon manages to overcome this obstacle, plummeting into the fiery moat and breaching the castle's defenses from below. As the siege intensifies, the situation grows increasingly dire. Fallon seizes the advantage, capturing Jack and Isabel, leaving them at his mercy. Yet, in a moment of sheer determination and bravery, Jack seizes the opportunity to turn the tide of battle. With quick thinking, he hurls the last magical bean down Fallon's throat, triggering a violent and cataclysmic reaction. The magical bean takes effect, causing a massive beanstalk to erupt from within Fallon's body, tearing him apart from the inside out. In a stunning display of heroism, Jack emerges victorious, reclaiming the enchanted crown from the fallen giant's grasp. With the immediate threat neutralized, Jack assumes control, wielding the power of the crown to command the remaining giants. In a decisive move, he commands them to return to their realm, ensuring the safety and security of his own kingdom once more. Through courage, resourcefulness, and sheer determination, Jack and his companions emerge triumphant, vanquishing their formidable foes and restoring peace to the land. After Jack and Isabel get married, they lovingly share the legend of the giants with their kids. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to watch more of these videos.